Hello and welcome to Real Talk, live from the University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at all things Casa and more in this year's Winter Love Island, and we ask the questions that need to be answered. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Lucy from Newcastle. Hi, I'm Renai from Wolverhampton. I'm Vivi from Nottingham. And I'm Rachel from Birmingham. Welcome to Real Talk live from the University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll be discussing the UK's reaction to Philip Schofield coming out, dress slips, and later asking the questions that need answers. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Olivia from Salford. Hi, I'm Daniel from Northamptonshire. Hi, I'm Gemma from Surrey. And I'm Sophie from Cheshire. Hello and welcome to Real Talk, the Valentine Valentine's edition live from University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll take a look at what your favourite stars are doing this Valentine's, our celeb favourite celeb couples, and we'll ask later ask questions that need answers. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Journey from York. I'm Luke from Wigan. Hi, I'm Nicole from Ludlow. And I'm Molly from Manchester. Let's have a quick look at who's booed up and dive straight into the papers. It's Hot Pages. So today I took a look at a small article in Closer magazine of our reality queen Gemma Collins. The GC is wearing a wedding dress, but unfortunately it's just all for her new show and she's not actually engaged. Panel, do we want Gemma to find love? And do we want her to find it with Arge or someone better? What do we think? Of course she should find love. In today's Hot Pages, I looked at OK Magazine, which featured Kim Kardashian asking the question whether celebrities should be ashamed of being rich. So guys, what do you think of this? Should they be shamed? It's a hard one, isn't it? Because we've used Kim as an example and she's got a massive empire and there's a lot of people wondering why she was famous, etc. However, you can't deny she's a businesswoman and shouldn't we see her wealth and maybe aspire to be like her in a business savvy sense? Mm -hmm. So maybe it could be a positive in that aspect. I looked at an article in Closer magazine on reality star Lauren Goodger battling trolls. The mag states that her friends have said trolls are ruining her self-esteem. The question I want to pose to the panel is do you think social media is doing enough at tackling trolls and what more can be done? What do you think guys? No. <laughs> no yeah, exactly. Social media is not doing enough at all. I think if anything, it's making the situation worse, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, exactly. I've seen celebs now, if you go on celebs' Instagram pages, they often turn the comments off. Right. So yeah. nobody can even comment, or they have filtered comments, so it's only like specific people that they know that mm -hmm. can comment on thoughts because it's actually got that bad that like, yeah, they yeah, so they've removed them rubbish. completely. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. And if you Doesn't report know. something on like Twitter or something, you get something back that's like 24 hours later, it's like, yeah, we decided not to delete that, or decided not to remove them. And you're like, why? Who like, is judging this, literally? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't break our guidelines. You're like, definitely does. Like, like, yeah, <laughs> you, you report a tweet and then it's like, oh, sorry, no, it's not offensive enough. It's like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> Just before the weekend, Philip Schofield revealed his gay in an emotional post on Instagram. This was then followed by an interview with This Morning co-star Holly Willoughby. He admitted he knew he was gay when he got married in 1993. His wife Stephanie, of 27 years, says she will still support him. So guys, what are your thoughts on Schofield coming out gay? Well, <laughs> <laughs> where do we start? <laughs> good, no, good on him for coming out. Mm. Obviously, it's an amazing thing. It's very brave to do. But the fact that he knew he was gay in 1993 yeah. Yeah. and still got married. It's, <laughs> uh, it's a bit like, mm. it's on the wife side, I feel a bit yeah. sorry for her. Because yeah. that's, mm. that's a big chunk of her life when he knew he was gay all along. Yeah. Did she know? Yeah, well, he did admit to um, an interview with The Sun that 
he was quite naive to it all back then and he didn't know yeah. whether he was bi and he, he saw like a therapist because he was trying to get over his emotions and he thought he was just confused so yeah. I actually kind of feel quite sorry for him that it's oh, taken yeah. him this long to kind of make it public mm. do you know what I mean yeah yeah do we think Valentine's is overrated no like this Not tweet so it says Valentine's Day is the most overrated day of the year and I'm in a relationship imagine getting a 500 pound hotel room and paying 200 pound for a swanky dinner when you can sit in your pajamas on the sofa with your boyfriend with a huge Chinese for like £30 and a film on Netflix. I mean, I wouldn't complain at either. Yeah, me. neither. If you have the money, I definitely think it's... I definitely think you should go out, maybe. Yeah, well, not should go out, but you could, you uh, could make yeah. an effort. It's nice to feel yeah. special for I, a day, isn't yeah. it? Like, it's nice to... I think on Valentine's Day, it's nice to stay in and then another day of the year go all out. Cause I guess so. Because otherwise you're going to be out with all the other couples and it's not going to feel so special. Mm. True, but then so at the same like time you can feel special. Yeah. I, I like looking over and being I like, oh, they're having a nice you meal. You can feel and special like, you know. with everybody else, can't you? Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> traffic lights and then somebody says the name. They don't know when to go on. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you <lot. laughs> Social media also went wild when people started to compare themselves in a visualisation exercise. So when you visualise an apple in your head, which which one with which one are you from a scale of one which is seeing the whole apple in 3d to five not seeing anything at all so what do you think close your eyes now how <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I, can, I can see an apple but I won't say it's 3d I can see a fat like green apple can you like shiny so you'd say you're probably a, probably like two two because it's, it's not, not 3d, 3D. But I definitely see an apple. Mm. What about you, Dan? Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Tell me what you um, see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite interesting because I do see an apple, but I've got a really vivid imagination. And mm. while you're reading that, I can see an apple when, like, I can you see can things when I've got my eyes open. So, as a panel, we all have a heart and a broken heart. We're going to be shown a couple of celeb relationships and we need to decide whether it's love or a hot mess. Just to note, we haven't seen any of these couples, so it should be really interesting. Um, let's take a look at the first one. Who do we have? Oh. oh. I, I, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a big love from me. Yeah. No, I've got to disagree. Definitely love. Why? 100% no, love. I Why are you disagreeing? I'll be honest, I don't really know. I'm not into rap that much, so I couldn't really tell. Who this person is, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they just seem dead different. Like, I presume that's a Kardashian. Is it? That's yeah. Kylie. Yeah. They just, I don't know, she just seems like a mod. Like, it's not obvious. I don't know. Just, they just seem different. Is it? Have you heard any rumours about cheating scandals yeah, or anything I've, like that? What is it? Has it just been cheating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There has been rumours been like alleged. cheating on Kylie. Oh, yeah. um, no, yeah. then. That makes it a bit worse for me. I still stand them personally. I think they work really well together. They've got a little stormy now who's yeah, so exactly. good. Yeah, exactly. How long would and they they're both for? really relaxed and like chill people. Yeah, I hope they, they, they still, they're still friends, so maybe there's a chance. I hope they get back together. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh, so Rob, Rob Kardashian. Uh, Rob Kardashian no. and Black China. Very, Ooh. very, very toxic relationship. Yeah, I watched was... this all play out on TV yeah. and yeah, it was horrible. It seems like they've both got um, their own personal issues that really got yeah. involved with the relationship themselves. Final one. Oh, I'm so very... <laughs> Me! Oh, it's <laughs> you! you. <laughs> I thought it was Ariana Grande. Oh, it was Alex. <laughs> I made him look like you. I'm a killer. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys look really cute. I don't know you guys is like personalities Love enough. So. Oh, you guys look cute you. together, though. <laughs> okay, that is so funny. Oh, <laughs> you look so nice. Like your makeup is so nice in that. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Enough gossip oh. for one day. We've spoke about a lot, haven't we? So join us next week with a whole new panel and for some more hot tea. That's all for now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.